Hi, I'm Carl Taylor and this episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Here's my commercial photography website. It's a Squarespace one and I absolutely love it. They are easy to set up, they look amazing, there are hundreds of templates to choose from and they have first class customer support. If you want one too, then use this URL and the coupon code CARL to get a 10% discount. So hundreds of you have been emailing asking us how we built our cove. Well, here it is. Here's the initial stud work going up with our carpenter, Mark Fairbrush, uh, who constructed the whole cove. There you can see the lattice work in the corner and uh, the first level of plasterboard that has been uh, applied to that stud work. That lattice work was extremely difficult for the carpenter, especially when he gets down to the bottom corner. Those are plywood preformed curves and then he's using sheets of plywood, uh, sort of flexible plywood to apply to the lattice and screw it into that lattice to give us that final curve, that perfect curve that comes down and blends into the floor. Now, as you can see, that bit hasn't had plaster uh, put on it yet because you can't bend the plasterboard. There's the complicated lattice in the corner. There you can see he's gradually built that lattice and covered it with strips of plywood. Scaffold in place to allow our plasterer, Rob, to get the uh, top coat of plaster. There's Tim's son being a naughty boy and skateboarding on the cove when he shouldn't have. And then you can see that green stuff is actually, uh, it's like a special sealant that you can put on top of plywood that allows the uh, final render to be plastered on top of that plywood. Uh, so it kind of seals the plywood in. So you can see the top has been plastered where we have the scaffold up. And then now Rob is now plastering the lower part of the uh, cove where he can reach to and, and, and the difficult part of plastering into that curve. There's the finished thing plastered with the first coat of paint on it. And there's the completed thing. And this is one of the reasons we have a cove, because it gives us this amazing, seamless background of beautiful, empty space. <laughs> <laughs>